Hello everybody, today I'll show you how to use this animated image Photoshop action and with this action you can turn your static image into cool animations. This action has 20 pretty fun directions. So the direction you want to animate your static image you will mostly get from this list and every direction has three different speeds and also if you don't get any direction which you are looking for you can use the custom direction to create uh, animation in any direction you want. So we'll get into details when we run this action. Before that, let's view a few examples. Here in this image that you can see on the right, left, we'll be applying two animations, one on the sky and one on the ocean. On the sky, we'll be having a translation effect, where the sky will move from left to right, and the ocean will expand and come to the front. So the final result is this. Let's view another example. Here, what will drop at the center and will have an expansion effect towards the periphery. Here, there's also a small translation effect on this uh, water which is dropping at the center. And this is the final effect. This is a more complex animation having different layers of smoke animated into different directions. These are all custom directions and these are warped to expand out from the center. This is the final effect. In this image you can also see three different animations are stacked. One is the stretch where the waterfall is falling from the top to the bottom and there is another one the expansion of this mist water droplet cloud and there is an expansion of this uh, water uh, body on which the waterfall is falling so this is the final effect here in this example the background will be having a translation effect from right to left giving the blurred look and the rotation on this wheels so this is the final effect This sky sky will have a rotation effect. Here you can see the final result. This one has again three animations stacked together. The sky will having a translation effect from left to right. The wheels will have rotation, and this dust will have an expansion effect. This is the final effect. And on this last example, we'll be having expansion on these gas clouds on this nebula. So this is the final result. Okay, so let's get started. I'll use this image at first. So before we get started, we need to take care of a few things. First is go to image mode and make sure your color mode is RGB color and it's 8 bits per channel. Then click this flyout menu and click panel options. Make sure use default masks on field layers is checked and add copy to copy layers and groups is also checked. Now I want to give you a suggestion on this image size. Go to image size and you can keep it anything that you want this action will work on any event size and any resolution but I'll suggest to you lower it down because when you will be exporting it into an animated GIF video so it, it will take pretty long and the size will be pretty large so I'll scale it down to 500 pixels resolution I'll keep it 72 just for the smaller size and Make sure your main image, the background, lock clear. It has to be, otherwise the action will not work properly. If you made some other operations like cropping or something else, and if you see it's layer zero or something else, then you need to turn it to a background lock layer. To do that, go to layer, new, background from layer. As you can see, it is now a background lock layer. Next, you need to uh, enable the timeline. So go to window, timeline and this will bring up the timeline menu so that you can see your video uh, frames and animation efforts that will be created over here 
and then now let's uh, load up the action to do that go to window actions and the action panel will load up then select this flyout menu and select load actions from this uh, package you will see there's a folder animated image Photoshop action inside that there's the action select it and hit load so as you can see here is all these 28 different directions and also the custom direction we have uh, different styles in every direction like top having translate top stretch and top expand bottom having the same and all and everything has three different speeds in this case you are wondering what this top translate and top stretch do or the difference between them you can easily find them inside this help guide HTML which is there in the package itself you can open it into any browser and here as you can see there's a small snapshot of the different animations that will be created this translation will create a moving effect this stretch will stretch out from a single point and expand to that direction while expand will expand in both vertical and horizontal directions but from a uh, specific center from a specific corner so these are the different snapshots of different directions which are listed in the action you can uh, try and uh, have a look and find the direction that you want and apply that action and also here you can see the relative comparison between the different speeds also if you don't find the direction which you are looking for you can always try the custom direction where you can skew distort perspective and warp the image on your own and scale to your own liking so that uh, option is also available in the custom direction and also custom direction has three different speeds as you can see so we can add multiple uh, animations together and stack them on top of each other I'll show you uh, shortly as we run this uh, uh, actions so let's make our first selection and make sure you're creating a new layer on top of background layer to do that select new layer and rename it as subject make sure it's in lowercase it has to be in lowercase for the action to work properly now select your brush I'd prefer a brush soft brush with hardness is zero percent select any color and then uh, let's mark our sky so I'm avoiding the edges so that I don't get a hard edge uh, when this animation will be applied I'll go I'm going over this lighthouse to quickly finish the selection, I'll erase them once it's done. With the border done, I'll quickly fill the center area. And now I'll fine tune the selection, I'll erase out this uh, lighthouse areas. Make sure you clean out these areas properly, otherwise uh, your animation may not work properly. okay uh, that is almost done and now let's select our action and direction I'll apply a translation effect the sky will be move, moving from left to right so let's select that action right translate I'll have a s slow speed so select this right translate slow and click play so it's done let's play our animation and see what we get the sky is coming on top of the lighthouse we can uh, easily fix that to do that as you can uh, see in this folder which is created which is having the style and the direction and the speed name it's also written that paint on mask with black to hide unwanted moving areas so we can fix this uh, thing with this very easily select this clear mask and select your brush and select color black make sure you're selecting this clear mask and then paint on this uh, layer mask. I'll take this timeline to the beginning and I'll paint on this over this lighthouse areas.
with the border done I'll switch to this um, layer mask view hold alt or option and click on it so it should be done now let's play and see what we have got so as you can see uh, that issue is now fixed the sky is not overlapping on this lighthouse and, and it looks really smooth so uh, just make sure your uh, this set inside the settings your loop playback is checked otherwise you won't get this looping animation and this action creates a looping animation for five seconds for each of the animation and now let's uh, apply our animation on this uh, ocean to do that we have to create another subject layer and uh, you can delete this subject layer and create a new one but if you want to keep it for some future references or you want to again apply this uh, animation on this sky with some different directions you can keep it just rename it so that it does not interfere with the animation you will be running next so I'll create another layer rename it as subject in lowercase and now let's select a different color and select our brush, select subject layer and mark the ocean in this case it will be expanding so I am not worried about getting hard edges so I can fill around this uh, area Clean out this rocks a bit. Okay, it's mostly done. So let's apply our action. So I'll be having an expansion effect from this region to this bottom right. So I can easily select uh, this bottom right expansion effect and run this action but just to show you the custom directions I'll select this one custom direction medium and I'll show you how you can use your own direction with these custom directions now I'll hit play you'll get a pop-up in the mid it'll say in the next step you need to transform your image the transformation you create will be applied through the internal animation the free transform tool is already selected and you just need to create the transformation which will turn into the motion you can try any transformation like scaling, moving, skewing, distorting, rotating and all others. Now press continue to proceed. As so you hit continue you will see that the free transformation tool is already selected and I'll just drag these nodes and create up my main my own transformation. You can also right click and select any other style like warping, perspective, distort, skew, rotate, scaling. I'll just uh, keep scaling and uh, I'll expand this portion a bit towards the bottom right you can also scale it on the side I'll hit control or common minus to zoom it out so that you can hold these nodes so it looks fine to me I'll hit this tick mark and let the action continue let's run this action animation and here you can see that these two animations are now stacked on top of each other if you're not satisfied with the result and you want to have a different result you can simply delete this one simply delete this uh, layer and again run the animation try again with the direction and experiment out so now let's uh, save this and export this animation I'll show you the best possible uh, results according to my opinion which gives you the best uh, quality but it also compromises on the size and creates a pretty large file and then I'll show you how to strike a balance between the two so let's export this out go to file export save for web
So here it will take some time for the frames to render. It's almost done. Rendering. Okay. Now select GIF for your animated GIFs. Select Adaptive and select Noise. Keep your color palette to 256. This will give you the most uh, 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 variety of the color palettes over here. And uh, transparency, you can also uncheck it. So this is this setting gives you the most uh, good quality, but it also compromises on the size. As you can see, this 500 pixel wide image is having a size of 18 megabytes. So I'll just export it out, uh, check this looping option and select forever so that you can get a looping infinitely looping animation and now let's save it. It's going to take some time as this animation is 5 seconds long, it has 30 frames per second, so 150 frames in total. Okay, now let's uh, see what we have got. So this is the final result, export it out. Now I'll show you, according to my opinion, which is a better export preferences to strike a balance between quality and size. Okay, so keep adaptive selected in place of noise you can select diffusion and you can reduce this color palette to 128 maybe and you can try cranking this uh, lossy value higher so as you turn it up you will see graininess coming to your uh, uh, animation which might not uh, look that good if you turn this lossy value uh, up more uh, higher but you'll see that your size is reducing fairly so you can uh, experiment and see uh, uh, with which values you're getting a good quality and also your size is reasonable so uh, you can strike a balance between the size and the quality so uh, with this example done, I'll show you another example. Let's open this waterfall effect. Let's uh, check our image size. It's pretty large. I'll reduce it down to 600. And also resolution is uh, 300. It, this image, uh, this action works with any resolution, but for the sake of uh, size, image size, and render time, I'll reduce it down to 72. So I'll adjust the width again. Okay, now let's apply our first uh, effect on this waterfall. We'll be having a stretch effect from top to bottom. So let's create a new layer. Rename it as subject. Select our brush and our color and let's paint on this subject layer.
with the border is done let's quickly fill the center region that looks uh, fine to me so let's run our action so I'll select bottom stretch medium so this will stretch from this region to the bottom and I'll select medium speed let's run this action let's play it and this is what we will get so this is coming on top of this portion and this foreground area so we can easily fix this again by simply painting on this layer mask with black so let's select our brush and color black and now let's paint on this mask to hide this area of this animation so as you can see it's pretty simple to fix so with that done let's apply our next layer of animation I'll just turn this uh, timeline uh, marker to the very beginning so that if I create a new layer subject again so it creates from this uh, zero second beginning so as I'm creating another subject layer I'll just rename my older subject just to avoid any clash with the action running with this subject layer selected I'll mark this cloud area this mist area select another color and I'll paint over this region let's clean out it a bit on this rocks and the foreground and the person looks fine to me now let's run it I'll select the custom direction and let's hit play so it prompts me to select my direction I'll expand it from the bottom like this now let's hit play again so this is the effect that we get so it, it may look weird that the waterfall is coming on top of this mist so that is also very easy to adjust and uh, these are all groups individual groups so we can also drag them uh, above and below to adjust that pretty easily so this is the mist and this is the waterfall so I'll just drag this mist on top of this waterfall group and as you can see now if I run this uh, play this animation it looks realistic just to finish it off, I'll add a simple quick animation on this water body in front so that it looks more realistic. I'll rename this uh, older subject layer and let's create another subject layer. Let's select another color and brush over this area make sure your timeline is within this uh, visible region of this layer So I'll clean it up a bit. Now let's run this action. I'll again select custom direction medium and hit play. I'll expand this water body towards this front area. Continue this and let's see what we have got so it has some issues with these rocks coming and it's going on top of this area 
on the foreground so we'll quickly fix that by simply painting on the layer mask with black make sure your uh, brush and color black is selected and you're painting on the layer mask let's draw it again looks better to me so this is the final result on this image as you can see you can stack up multiple uh, effects and animation together and if you don't like any of this uh, effect you can simply delete that and try out any other of this direction or style and the speed also if you don't find anything from this list you can select the custom direction so that's all for this animated image photoshop action hope you like this effect see you soon